Hey, welcome back to another midweek devotional. This is our third devotional during our break. Um, this is kind of an impromptu devotional on John 1 1. Uh, both Joe and Calvin uh, were kind of getting a lot of criticism and, well, constructive criticism from me, and I felt it only fair that I subjected myself to the devotional as well. And I asked them just to give me a verse. And after Calvin gave me some random verses that he wasn't even sure were in the Bible, uh, Joe said, why don't you do John 1, 1? And so that's what I did without any uh, preparation. I just kind of winged it. But John 1, 1 is one of my favorite verses. So I don't know if Joe planned that or not, but that's kind of what happened. So hopefully you get something out of this devotional. I am also taking criticism as Joe and Calvin subjected themselves to uh, the last couple of weeks. So if you have any feedback or thoughts, I'd love to hear it. Um, give it a thumbs up if you just thought it was okay. But anyway, I'll see you after the devotional. Um, if you have your Bible, go ahead and turn to the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1. That's what we're going to be reading out of. This is one of those verses that... If your Bible translation tampers with this, throw that Bible translation in the bin. Throw it in the trash. Okay? This is one of the foundational, fundamental verses of the Christian faith. And it reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, this is establishing the divinity of Jesus Christ. If you do not believe these words, you cannot call yourself a Christian. If you don't believe Jesus Christ was the living Son of God, as someone recently called him the God-man, the hypostatic union of both God and man together, if you don't believe that, you cannot say the words, I am a Christian, because this is foundational. And it's going to go on in the text, and it's going to say he was in the beginning with God. That shows the eternity of Jesus Christ right there. Again, if you don't believe that, you are not going to be able to say, I am a Christian. In Genesis, God says, let us make man in our image. Who's he talking to? Uh, there's theories he's talking to the heavenly host, the angels, things like that. More than likely, it's the Trinity. God in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the Bible tells us in Genesis 1, the Spirit hovered over the, the waters. Now John is telling us where God the Son is during this time. So he says, in the beginning God was the Word, or sorry, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him not uh, was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Praise God. If there is any, anything as a Christian, if you're feeling down, if you're hurting, this passage, in the beginning was the word, the logos, that's the Greek word, the person of the word. God the Son existed at the very beginning. And what else is in John? John 3, 16. That word, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that word, for you. From the point of creation, Jesus, God loved you so much, Jesus was going to sacrifice himself and take the wrath of God upon himself for your sins, your rebellions to God, your uh, separation from God in order to make you righteous and holy before a righteous and holy God. That is awesome. That is the God we serve, who, who is so sovereign and has so much foresight and eternity is in his mind that even at the point he spoke the universe into existence, he was ready to die knowing that we were going to fail. So if that's, if that's something that um, you've never thought of before, or maybe you're sitting there and you're saying, you know what, I've never thought of that. Maybe I'm not a Christian. Today I would challenge you to give your life to the God who loves you so much he died on a cross for your sins. So if you will, join me in a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, I know Jesus Christ died on a cross for my sins. I know God the Father raised him from the grave. And Lord, I want to give you my life today. 
So I just want to serve you with all I have, and I want to pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, that risen Savior. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it, the Holy Spirit's now going to come into your life, and he's going to begin to change you. You are now a follower of Jesus Christ, and you've made that commitment, and that prayer is nothing but a mile marker for who you now are in Christ. But if you prayed that prayer or you turned this devotional off and you're not really willing to live that or believe that, it was just hollow words. It was empty. So that choice is up to you. And until next week, when we do another devotional, God bless, and I hope to see you Sunday. Well, that's it. That's the end of it for our break. And we're back in James next week. God bless you guys. Thanks for the criticisms, the feedback, all that stuff for these guys. I know they're going to appreciate it. I know I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys who do watch faithfully each week. Um, it just it means a lot. And I know that uh, there's a lot of work that those both Calvin and uh, Joe put into their devotionals. So again, thank you so much for all that. And uh, hopefully we'll do it again soon. But if not, uh, thanks again. Anyway, I'll see you back here in the book of James next week. If I don't see you Sunday, God bless you.